When we're about to send a conversation or we're in a conversation, it's just as important to stay in the flow of work. Sometimes we need to send things or include things in our conversations and we end up going out to separate applications and windows and getting distracted. Time taken and making the other people waiting on the other side. So uh, let's go through a few things that we can do in Teams conversations. And we're using the little icons at the bottom of our conversations. These are called messaging extensions. But just think of them as small apps or ways to be able to get to the content that we need while we're in a conversation. Now one thing that we probably take for granted is the attach feature. Now if I wanted to send a document, I could do it this way. And I've often seen people do it where they go to the uh, place where the document is they want to share. So it could have been, oh, uh, where do I go? Do I go to SharePoint? Okay, I'm at SharePoint, I'm clicking through. I'll find the document, so it could be this one here. I'll uh, click the share button. I'll copy the link. I'll go back to my conversation. Um, I'll paste it in here. And yeah, now we're gone. Right, so I know even there, I didn't go through as many clicks as I might normally have done. I might have had to find the site. Now, if you've got used to using OneDrive, then you might have also been able to do this. Uh, I often see OneDrive as being like my files explorer in the cloud. So I go straight to OneDrive and I can see some of the files that I've been recently working on. I could go here and I could say, all right, I wanna copy a link to this file, copy link, go back to my conversation, paste it in, and we're done. But still, I'm going away from my conversation. I'm getting distracted. I might even see other files along the way that distract me. So here's a better way to do it. Using the attach uh, button, I can click on attach cloud files. And actually, you know what I see in this window? I see a very similar experience to when I went to OneDrive. I can see my files or recent files. And you'll see at the top of this list, the two files that I attached to the conversation earlier. So I don't need to go away from my conversation. I can just choose this conversation, attach it, and it basically achieves the same thing. Here you go. And there we go. Not bad. Um, so I know it seems obvious, but, but it's something that does keep us in the flow of work without having to go off to another window. What about uh, this one? We probably don't use this very much, but how about we, we need to sometimes send a message to say where we plan to meet someone or hey, let's, let's go here, send in a location. This is another extension that we can use. So if we go through to our three dots, this is where we'll find other applications available that we can use within conversations. Here's places. I'm going to look up a location, 17 Fanshawe. in Auckland, and there we go. We have added in the location. It is already in the conversation. I didn't have to go out to Google Maps or Bing or whatever. I just used this and I can send that um, as a way of sharing my location that I want to meet someone at. So that's really cool, quick and easy. Uh, what about um, when we're working on support tickets? So this is quite handy. And this is where we're getting into um, applications and extensions that we could add to our conversations uh, so that we don't have to go off to a full application in the web. Jira is a really handy application and a lot of organizations use it to manage their support tickets. And if you have uh, added it as an extension to your team's experience, uh, then you can go to your three dots you can choose Jira Cloud. And if you're all connected and signed in, then you can look up that ticket. So here's a ticket that I wanted to talk about with Laura. It has been assigned to her, so I can choose that ticket. And I don't have to go off to the full Jira experience. I can just look that ticket up. I can say, this is the ticket I was telling you about. All right, so that gives a number of different things that, that you can do from there too. Some of these extensions are quite smart. 
that you can do things in the flow of your conversation without going out. You could edit the issue, you could comment, you could open the full ticket in JIRA. Um, so here we go, I can add a comment to say that I uh, am following up ticket with Laura. She will mention her. Okay, and post to that comment. Again, so many things that we could do without having to go off to that full application and getting distracted by other tickets and other things that might be in the JIRA portal. Great, last one I wanna show you, and there's plenty more, but I might want to quickly create a place to collaborate. Now, I might have a OneNote that's in common with Laura. We might share a team. Maybe we share a number of teams. Uh, or I might have something else that we, we could share. But I'm going to just add a loop component to this Teams chat. So in this empty chat uh, message box, I'm going to choose the loop components icon. And I will just add a quick bullet pointed conversation. All right, so we'll just uh, ideas and kick that off. So that doesn't look like much, and we'll go into that in another video. But what we've created here is a place that we both share, we both have permission to it, and we can start co-authoring and collaborating together in this in real time. No hassle, no bumps, no going off and trying to decide where we're going to be collaborating and whether we have permission to do so. So those are a few different ways that we can achieve things in conversations or while we're about to send a conversation off to a colleague. Think about what's available to you here in your message extensions. Start to think about adding um, and building a habit around using these things uh, so that it saves you time, keeps you in the conversation, keeps your mind in the conversation uh, so you're not distracted when you go to the other applications.